What a horrible night to have a curse! Yep, Nintendo really went all out in trying to demonstrate to us that this place is doomed. Nighttime? Check. Heavy rain? Check. Total obliteration? Check. And uh, Quill tells us that uh, he advises us against staying here longer than we have to. But guess what? We're going to disobey these words because despite the island being completely destroyed, there are a few things that we can do here. Over here, we have the second of the traveling merchants, the first of which we encountered on Bomb Island. This one is going to tell us his... Uh, life story as well, which is a requirement if we are to do any trading whatsoever with him. But, uh, yeah, uh, the deal with this guy is that he's looking for a rare item called the Shop Guru Statue. And obviously he's not going to be finding it here because he hasn't found it, so as you might have guessed, we're going to have to bring it to him. But it's going to be uh, it's gonna be worth it. He's going to give us a piece of heart for that, but that still weighs off. So, uh, why don't you show me what you got? Well, I'm going to do so right now, because whereas the other two merchants w would give you a town flower for the sea flower, this one is going to give you an exotic flower. Now, don't worry, not all of these items are flowers. In fact, I believe uh, we got all three of the flowers, and the, and the rest are flags and uh, statues and whatnot. 25 rupees... Here we go, we got the exotic flower. So, um, the next step of the trading chain is not on this island, it's all the way back at, at Bomb Island, so we're gonna take care of that later, the next time we're in the vicinity of Bomb Island. So, we got a few rupees from that. Now, we're still... Well, we're gonna head back to the King of Red Lions because he's got a few things to tell us, but there are still a few more things to do here before, uh... We're done with this island, and he's just going to reiterate what uh, Quill said earlier. <laughs> he must have caught wind of, of Ganon's attack beforehand. Probably has to do with the fact that the last time he met Ganondorf, things went to shit in a hurry for him. So at least he got a clue that uh, when Ganondorf is coming, just get the fuck out of here. Don't even ask any questions. So over there, we got uh, an island that looks a lot like Spiral Mountain from Banjo-Kazooie. So I'm just going to um, park here, I guess. Oh, I saw the madfish all the way over there. This is good, because as you can see, this is a pretty big island, so there are a lot of spots where the madfish can be, and he looked to be a... Uh, Re uh, really far away from the island, so it's a good uh, it's a good thing that I uh, caught uh, note of where where he was. And look at what we found here! One of the Koroks from the last video who came here to plant one of the Deku Tree's seeds, but um, apparently it's not doing too well because uh, the tree is has just been born and it's already starting to wither. And uh, the catch is that if one of them withers. The others will wither as well, so there are such withered trees all over the Great Sea. Don't ask me why they're linked that way. It's either magic or Nintendo logic. Knowing Nintendo, it's probably both, but still. So he's going to ask me to spray those trees with the water that flows around the Great Deku Tree. But there's a catch to this that's going to prevent us from doing so just yet. And I'm going to get to, to that when I get around to doing this side quest, which is going to be much later in the game. But the real reason we came to this uh, Shibi Spiral Mountain isn't for that. Okay, the wind is blowing in the right direction. I'm just going to pull out uh, the Deku Leaf. Is that all the way over there, there's an alcove that you can't see really well from here. But uh, in that alcove, there's a piece of heart, so this is what you have to do in order to reach it. So, yeah, pretty easy piece of heart, as long as you know that it's there. And it's pretty hard to know that it's there, because, as I said, it's hard to get a good vantage point from which you can see the alcove and the chest. So, yeah, it can be a bit problematic, a bit of a guy dang it, but still. It's there, now you know it, so we picked it up, and, oh, I can't get on that... Uh, Barrel. Shame, because um, the King of Red Lions is still uh, quite far away. I hope I, I don't drown on my way to him. It would, it would suck. Okay, he's right over there, so 
Not even close, even though you start uh, hearing him drown as soon as uh, the, the air gauge reaches uh, the halfway point. It, it, it really would never was a problem, apparently. So let's head over to the map fish before we leave uh, this square, see what he has to tell us. And wow, the music actually started playing before I got to the mad fish. So, yeah, what I was saying, the mad fish can cover quite a bit of ground. I wasn't kidding. <laughs> yeah, it's actually one of the more frustrating mad fishes to find around their island because well, Great Fish Isle is already a very big island and uh, then there's the fact that uh, he can be found so far away from the island. So, yeah, there's a lot of ground to cover if you want to make sure to find him. So, it's a good thing that I actually found him before uh, before I even uh, started searching for him. So he's going to tell us about uh, the ghost ship. Those mad fish only ever seem to talk about the ghost ship whenever you're on a square where the ghost sh where the ghost ship uh, can pop up depending on the phase of the moon. So that's a bit aggravating when you already know what you have to do to find the ghost ship to begin with. A lot of attention for something that can be covered by a single chart. Yeah, whatever. But that's only something that we're going to take care of near the end of the game. Uh, in a more short-term perspective, though, I'm going to show you this sailing session because it's going to give me a minute or two to explain to you exactly what's going on, things that neither Will nor the King of Red Lions told us. As you can see, it's raining very heavily all the time, and it's night time. It's always going to be night time until we find that pearl. And it's also going to always rain like this until we get the pearl. Because apparently the curse laid by Ganondorf on uh, Great Fish Isle has quickly expanded to the rest of the Great Sea. And to go along with it, we get a remixed version of uh, the sailing theme, which uh, is a mashup, sort of a mashup of uh, the sailing theme on a different key and Ganondorf's theme, which is playing right now, as a matter of fact. So as you can see, time isn't flowing at all, even when we're not on one of the major islands. It's always going to be midnight until we find Nehru's Pearl. So uh, it's a pretty high priority task. It doesn't really matter how long we wait, uh, though the fact that uh, Daybreak is never going to come until we take care of... Uh, of Nehru's Pearl is certainly going to be troublesome and we got some sharks here which are uh, sea monsters that you can find uh, near Tingle Island. You can either dodge them when they charge you or you can also jump over them which is an infinitely cooler. Anyway, the, the, the mad fish on this island was right in the way so let's just talk to him. He's probably going to be talking about Tingle since we just reached... Tingle Island! That's right! This island is Tingle's home! Unfortunately, we can't do anything with Tingle as of yet, but that's gonna come uh, rather shortly. But yeah, what Tingle does in this game is that we're going to come across special charts that need to be deciphered later on in the game. So, if we want to decipher them, we're gonna have to take them to Tingle. Unfortunately, as the Mapfish is saying right now, his deciphering fee is very heavy. 398 rupees per chart multiplied by 8 charts means 3,184 rupees that you're going to have to fork over to tingle over the course of the game. Now, uh, I'm just going to pull out the grappling hook and the boomerang because I'm going to introduce you to a new sort of enemy. Or maybe not, because we got mail, so let's take a look at uh, what we got. I don't remember uh, who this is from. Oh, it's from Orca. If you wish to be a true swordsman, find some Knight's Crest and return to me. At 160 decibels, no doubt, because of the big characters. And holy shit, is that money I can actually carry? Mark this day on your calendar, folks! Anyway, new enemy, Blue Choo Choo which you can extract blue chew jelly from. Now, blue chews are a bit more problematic than what we've encountered thus far because uh, they're permanently coated in an electricity shield. You can only stop it when uh, stunning it with the boomerang, and when it dies, it, it uh, drops 10 rupees, or the chew jelly if you haven't uh, 
stolen it with the grappling hook. Very important thing about blue chews is that you can only pick up their jelly once, unlike other kinds of chews. So there's a limited amount of blue chew jelly you can find in this game. Anyway, let's see what Tingle has to tell us. I've been longing to see you, sir. What should we play? What do you want to play? What? You're not here to play? And he's going to mock our wallet because, of course, only 200 rupees isn't a whole lot of money. And yes, I am throwing away most of the rupees I find. Thanks for the sympathy, asshole. And uh, the fairy on the island north of here. Even there, he's a lying scumbag. The, that island is two squares north of here, not directly north of here. Although I guess it's still north of here, but just so you know, it's two squares to the north. So, yeah, as, as I said, we can't do anything with Tingle quite yet. This guy is going to tell us about uh, the fact that Tingle has another brother and he wishes that um, he would come and push that uh, thing instead of him. What is that thing? Anyway, I have absolutely no idea. Maybe it's a thing in Japan, but... No! I didn't want to talk to Tingle! I wanted to talk to the other guy here, who uh, is actually Tingle's brother. And I will say, his other brother is in the game, but I doubt a lot of people have seen him, because it involves a series of side quests with the Tingle Tuner, and I don't think everyone here has ever used uh, the Tingle Tuner, so odds are you haven't seen Tingle's other brother. But, yeah, what he's saying here doesn't really make a whole lot of sense, so let's, let's just leave this crazy place, let's leave Tingle and his man-slaves, and go back to Windfall Island! And we are back to Windfall Island, and as you can see, the pirate ship is right over there. So Quill was right in sending us here. To avoid drawing the attention of the townsfolk? Are you serious? A gargon chewing ship like that, even though it's not, uh, it's not uh, moored at the, the town side of the island, it's still going to draw attention. Look at, look at how huge this thing is. But of course, I guess not a lot of people would be out at this hour to... Um, Gawk had the pirate ship, uh, given all that rain. Heck, even the hobo who's uh, usually standing around here isn't outdoors. I wonder where he's taking refuge. I honestly have no idea. Some, uh, some of you probably already know, so tell me in the comments. Only once, though. I don't need ten different people telling me. Anyway, before we go take care of the pirates, there are a few things that I want to do right now. Remember that firefly that we caught uh, in the forest haven? Well, this is where it's going to come in handy, because if you show it to Lanzo, just, just listen to his voice here. Well, maybe not the first line, but at least the one after. He sounds like Santa Claus having an orgasm! Nonetheless, the reason why you want to give this Firefly to him is because he's going to use it uh, to upgrade my Picto Box into... The Deluxe Picto Box, which is going to allow us to take pictographs in color. This is needed for a certain number of side quests that uh, involve taking pictographs. So uh, now that we have that, uh, we are going to be able to do these side quests at the very least once, uh, once we're done with this Endless Night story arc. But what we can do right now is uh, remember that I talked about, uh, no, didn't want to talk to him, sorry. Uh, as I said before, there's a potion shop on this island, and remember the masses of um, chew jelly that we've found so far in this game? Well, it's time to put some of these to use, so we're going to head over to the potion shop, which is right over there. Unfortunately, I, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to have the time to uh, do this today, so I'm just going to stop this here and uh, take care of this in the next episode.